We at uh, the end of week 12 uh, from Project Startup, so that's three months have gone by since we've demolished and we built to this stage. So our stage one construction, which is the structural superstructure, the, the foundations and framing, that's done. The exterior cladding is 96% done. By next Tuesday, we will have all the front facade uh, finished. That's what the guys are doing right now, all the precast work. On the inside, we've done all the rough-ins, we've done all the insulation, all the taping and priming. Priming is going on as we speak, which is the beginning of our finished stage. That's when the whole house inside starts to become a house. That's when we start doing all the tiling, all the trim, and that's when it really starts kicking up. Before we do that, one of the best practices we have at PCM is we do a thermal imaging of the whole house to ensure that the house is properly insulated. It doesn't matter whether it's passed insulation inspection or not. This house, as a matter of fact, has already passed insulation inspection probably two, three weeks ago. It will just ensure that my clients have a properly insulated home with absolutely no air leaks and nothing whatsoever. And if there is anything to be addressed, right now is the time to address it. Not once we start having crown molding and everything on the exterior walls. I'm looking for any area that would have a very drastic difference in temperature. Okay, so my difference in temperatures right now ranges from 17 degrees to 20 degrees. That's a three degree, even around corners, like right there where you have that purplish stuff. That's where I have a steel beam. You can see where the windows are. And then you can see where the losses are going. See, that's very normal. And this one is really, very good. Same here. Same there. Everything is perfect. Look. See, the coloring is just right. Everything is spray foam. Yeah, we have two pound foam. Hang on, I'm going to take a picture of Tony. I think this guy's going to get paid today. <laughs> Outside, you want to see the opposite. So wherever you know you have losses, you want to see it hit. You can see all the losses in the roof. If there was a blue patch there or orange patch there, that would be something wrong. By having a house really well insulated and, and to this level and using this scanning method, it just ensures that in the future there will be very low utility bills, especially to heat and cool the house, which is really important in a country like Canada. This is how it really should be done all the time.